Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use themes in Calypso. Let's begin by creating a new project and selecting a theme as a starting point. Choose where to save the project. Now, let's create a new form by clicking the form button in the menu. This automatically selects the first form available in the theme or if they find the default form style. A form can also be created by double-clicking any of the available styles in the Style tab. Now let's add a button to each form. Controls can be restyled easily by dragging a control of the same type to the form while pressing the control key. This will ask if the style is applied to all forms or only the current one. Now let's drag an image button to a button control. This allows to convert text buttons that are native to the operating system to a more customizable type of control. Now let's resize the background shape. And delete the icon. In order to add icons, we can go to the Icons tab, where we can browse or search for the desired icon. Let's search for left. Select another icon set from the available ones and drag it into the form. Let's do some resizings. Search again for a settings icon and drag it also to the form. Let's resize again to fit. An icon can also be replaced by dragging another one from the sidebar into it. It's important also to know that any conversion or replacement will retain the actions associated with the previous objects, so that only the style properties are changed. Let's change the font size, make it bold, and click Save. Now let's add a label. Now let's add another label. And edit some properties. Like the font color. Hit OK. Set the text to bold. Also set the text position to be centered. By right-clicking the label, it can be added to the project's theme and set as the default control style. Let's go to the label that was added and select default. Right-clicking in a form can also be used to add it to the theme with all the included controls. We can also reorder any form or control by dragging them in the style tab. Right-clicking on a control or form in the Style tab also allows to rename it. Let's rename the selected form. Now let's create an empty form. Delete all the controls. Copy the top part of this form and paste it here. Now we can add it to the project's theme. Let's drag it to the top and set it as the default style. Now, when we create a new form, the default is selected. Let's drag it to another place so that we can see it. Now let's go to the file menu. If we select themes in the file menu, we are presented with a theme manager that allows us to further edit our themes. The first one is the current project's theme. 
if we double click the selected one, we can manage the lookbook that's used to preview the theme elements. Let's change one image with a snap of the created form. Double click in the list image. To edit, click the pencil icon and select an image from the snaps folder. Set this as default. The theme editor also allows to manage colors that can be used in the project. These can be added or managed at any time through the color picker. Let's add a new color, change its details, rename it and click OK. Now let's add another recommended icon set. Although all icon sets can be selected at any time, the recommended icon sets will always appear first in the list. Here we select the white outline. Click OK. Now to use this theme in other projects, all we need to do is copying it to the Calypso themes folder. Let's close Calypso. Click Yes. Now we go to the project's location and copy the theme folder to the designer themes. Let's navigate to the themes in the designer. Now we can rename it and when we reopen Calypso, the new theme will be available when creating new projects. Let's create another project using this new theme. We open Calypso, create a new project, give it a name and now choose the new theme. Also choose where to save the project. Let's use the desktop again, create a new folder and save it there. Let's browse in the Styles tab and see what's there. Let's create a new form. Now we can use the forms and controls created earlier. Let's create another form. Let's add the label we created earlier. Thank you for watching and for more information and additional contents, please visit Calypso website.